Are you curious about the population of Prince Edward Island, Canada? Well, you've come to the right place. Very popular question. It's a great question. The population of PEI as of 2019 was just under 167, 160,000, sorry. Uh, of that population, we are exploding uh, in comparison to the other provinces in Canada. We had an actual increase of 1.8% in 2019 last year, which is double and triple some of the other provinces. Why is there such a population growth? Well, CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, asked that exact question, and I've put the link in the notes below. Essentially, PEI is growing because of immigration. It's a great place to immigrate to Canada, and we're getting a lot of those people through the PNP program and other programs that are available. So we've got a population just under 160,000, but not to worry, because Probably about half of those people are located in the capital uh, and the home of Confederation of Canada, Charlottetown, and the surrounding area. So the surrounding communities would be Cornwall and Stratford. Stratford is the fastest growing community on the island, so I've been told. So check that out when you're here. Uh, in addition to that, the second largest city to Charlottetown would be Summerside, and it is located west. We're about 10 minutes from the Confederation Bridge. The population dwindles from there to smaller communities that are very diverse in their nature, which would be Tignish, O'Leary, um, Alberton, Surrey, Murray Harbor, Murray River, and a bunch of others. So that's how it sits. We're far from saturated, believe me, after having done tens of thousands of aerial photos out of a Cessna years ago before we had drones, there's a lot of open space here and you are not going to feel crowded in considering the island is about 140 miles or 225 kilometers wide. Now I found some really interesting links. I'm going to put them all below. Uh, StatsCan, uh, through their census, has produced a 14-page report on the population of PEI and they break down the demographics, age, race, uh, ethnicity. So that's pretty interesting and 14 pages isn't that hard of a read. And what else? We've got the CBC article, and we've got some additional information from Wikipedia. They've done a fantastic job putting a super duper page together uh, with reference to PEI, including its origin. So I hope this video is helpful. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.